Hello, it's uh, really hot today as you can see it's 28 degrees in here at the moment which isn't very nice so I don't really want to do uh, any overclocking so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this new HW bot benchmark which came out the other day which is the X265 benchmark basically just converts uh, X264 video into X265 video. Uh, I'm running a Pentium G6950 uh, pretty much at stock speeds. Uh, you can see it's pretty warm <laughs> at the minute which means it's pointless overclocking. Um, and today I'm going to do a video on this priority thing. Seems as though it's actually built in to this benchmark. Um, now if we actually open task manager a second you can see here uh, all your different programs which you get it usually come up on that uh, you go on processors so you have all your processors that are running here and you can also go on show processors from all users which will show um, all your different processors which are running in the background now on here you can set the priority real time high above normal normal medium and low and things like that uh, you can also set your affinity which is the number of cpu cores that your processor uses as well but today i'm going to be concentrating on the built-in priority thing for this uh, benchmark and as you can see here the cpu load is on core temp down there um, and seeing how this affects the score so we're going to start off on low and then go to high and then real time and we're going to see how it affects the score of this CPU and we're going to be running the benchmark in 64 bit on the 1080p preset um, and I'll film the results of each time um, and I'll probably do a time lapse or something of each one maybe we'll have to see how this goes right see you when it has done the first one I'm going to start low first run and it's off there we go 100% load off it goes might be a while Okay, so it's just finished this benchmark here, and as you can see, the uh, average score was 2.08 FPS. Uh, that was on the low priority, so next I'm going to run it on the uh, normal priority setting. So uh, I'm actually just going to reset this because I'm not going to submit it to HW, but as you can see, the settings and everything are still the same, maximum temperature is 42, not really much of a difference there, we're going to change it to normal, um, and run again. So, as you can see, it has just finished uh, this benchmark in normal priority. Um, again, the same settings, a little bit warmer now that it's warmed up. Managed 2.11 FPS, which is slightly higher than before. I'm now going to reset again and run it in real time now. This in theory should be fastest and then I'm going to do one more test at the end where I'm going to close Explorer and uh, anything else running in the background. Um, I'm going to change it to real-time priority in Task Manager and real-time priority 
on the benchmark and see if that also makes a difference. Unfortunately, due to an epic fail, I managed to put my knee on the enter button on the keyboard which is sitting there right next to where I'm sitting and obviously it was on a bot slash reset so I'm having to do it again on real time. Brilliant. So, I've now managed to finish it in real time without pressing reset this time. 2.24 FPS at 1080p. As you can see we're still on the same settings. Right, so for this final test that I'm going to do, as well as the real time in the benchmark, I'm going to go ahead and close these programs and I'm also going to close any background programs that I have open using the task manager here. So we're going to close Explorer as the, that's a pretty big resource hog. Um, network manager, whatever else you have in here, show processors from all users, I'm going to do as well, close XTU services because I'm not needing that, killer ethernet, <laughs> that's not even on this board, google updates, you can end all of that. Now, the uh, the this benchmark, you can usually see what it is. Um, you can see here in the list of things, the obvious thing that is the bench, the encoding benchmark that we are running, um, I'll just reset that, is um, this Java thing at the top here which is using most of the memory, I presume that's what it is, and to confirm that's what it is if you want you can just press run and see how much CPU it's using and as you can see Oh, it's actually x264.56 bit, that's interesting. Okay. Right. So, we want to select this, and we want to select real time. And apparently it's still running in the background, which is quite annoying, even though I've reset it. Not sure where it's gone. We'll set this to real time as well. And then we're going to close Task Manager and we are going to run it again and see if this improves our score any further. 